week's live Q&A. It's great to be here with you today. We just got a couple of questions for today's session. So this is probably going to be a little bit shorter session today, but welcome all the same. Um, it is such a privilege to spend this time with you. So the first question is from Matthew. Maria, how did you discover your MBTI type? So let's just give you a little bit of background um, on my personal development journey. So I've been teaching and learning and I've been a, a learner of life, so to speak, um, for a really long time, ever since I can remember. And I um, personally, I became really interested in personality types initially uh, when I was running a business in Ireland. And uh, I was a part of a BNI group, so Business Network International. It's a business networking group for several years. And there was this amazing lady there called Tempe Cummins. And Tempe was working with the Enneagram system. So this must be, this must be, it's over 10, oh, it's well over 10 years ago. It must be close to 15 years ago. And, and Tempe, brought really I did some private sessions with her and and she brought the kind of the the concept of personality types to me in a really powerful way because as a lot of you can imagine or you might already know um, my Enneagram type of course is type two and uh, I am a very traditional uh, archetypical type two in a way. And it really hit me home. It re hit me really, really hard. And I could really see working with Tempe, the benefits of understanding your own personality type and really, you know, making the most out of it, so to speak. So that's where I started the personal, personal development or personality development journey. And MBTI, so Myers-Briggs, um, I came across that years ago. It was after the it was definitely after the Enneagram, but I can't remember how much after. But basically what happened was that I um, I had known about Carl Jung's work and I was very interested in it. And it really, Carl Jung's work really spoke to me. And I thought, wouldn't it be nice if there was a way of systematizing it? And I didn't know about MBTI at the time. And then I found, of course, the the Myers Briggs type indicator piece after that, because you know when you start looking for something, you generally do find it. And um, I've of course found the amazing works of Isabel Briggs Myers and her mother Catherine Cook Briggs. And and from that, I thought this is a really interesting model. So I wonder where I fit in this. And then. I just kind of left it because I was so focused on the Enneagram piece and uh, my inner parenting, like inner child work at the time. And so I didn't pursue it any further. And then I saw somebody putting a link somewhere on Facebook for a test on human metrics. So the let me just see if I can find the... So I think it's humanmetrics.com. Um, I'm pretty sure that's the website. And I did the test and it's a it's a relatively short test, as in I think it's on like 60 questions, but it gave me the result INFJ. And then I read what they described INFJs as and I thought, oh my goodness, I had the same uh, experience that I'd had with Tempe with the type two on the Enneagram, um, uh, kind of going like, I now make more sense. That kind of that kind of feeling. This this makes sense. I understand myself so much better. I make so much more sense to myself now. And I started exploring the INFJ as a personality type. But what was really interesting uh, with that um, kind of that journey was that what I've realized afterwards is that. If you go onto the human metrics website, it's not the most modern, it's not the most like um, aesthetically um, appealing page, but it really did the job. And when I realized that I'm a very rare type, I felt like, you know, 
these people, how they've put this test together, um, they have they have something in there that really works for me. Now, whether it works for everybody else or other people or whether their INFJ testing is just uh, so much better than anything else, what's interesting about their work is that I've consistently typed as an INFJ through their work. Uh, whereas with other um, with other uh, tests, sometimes I test as different types. So yeah, that's how I found out Myers Briggs, and that's how I found out my own type. And the rest, as they say, is history. Because once yeah, I'm a I'm an obsessive personality type. So once I get into something, once I really get something, or I, I see the value in something, then I just jump into it into it fully. And a couple of years after having realized that I then uh, created the INFJ, the INFX project and the INFX Unveiled program, which of course has sold thousands of copies all around the world, uh, which is really exciting that there's something that I can offer that really helps other people as well. So that's exciting for me. All right, so I hope that that answers that question. Uh, thank you, Matthew, for that question and uh, yeah. Let me know how you found your Myers-Briggs type. I'd be interested to hear.